Hey, this is Arm Fro's um, 29th battle, I think, versus the famous Fizzy Stardust. Um, he actually goes on Average of Salem and actually um, got second place in this tournament, so I actually am able to get a battle for him on his on his server. So I start with my brand new um, Smeargle lead. He goes for his um, Impaladon. I Spore, of course, but actually mine has Leftovers. Usually the one has Focus Sash, but I, I get a sub off, and he goes into his Hey Dude. Um, this is actually a bomb. Um, CAC turn. Oh my gosh, I love facing Fizzy Stars because he comes up with the, with the most amazing Pokemon sets. So I go for a T-Wave as he actually gets the Parahack, which kind of sucks, but in the long run it wouldn't, re wouldn't really matter. I go for the Transform, actually, and I turn in the CAC turn. That's why his name, Two-Faced. I eh, get it. But um, he, get, he breaks myself with the Seed Bomb, and I look at this, look at this guy's move set, and I go for the Low Kick. He actually is Cotton Spore, which decreases... Um, a guy's speed two stages. <coughs> he predicted that went for his road on very nicely, and I'm and I look at this guy. I'm like, Ugh. um, I just might as well go for a sucker punch. See what he does. He goes for a rain dance. Actually, at this point, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go for the neutral damage uh, seed bomb here, and I actually take on his stats, which is really good. And so I actually get the seed bomb off, and it takes does a lot of damage versus this Kingdra. And I look at the. <coughs> He doesn't have um, leftovers. He's not scarfed or anything like that, so he has to be um, a life wolf. So he has mostly attack moves. So that's why I went for the sucker punch there. So I get the sucker punch off. I kill his Kingdra, and he goes into his War Man. I look at my his moves. I'm like, I don't want to bet get screwed by a scarfed Heatran, so I just might as well go for my Arcanine. <coughs> he goes for the substitute, which is a really smart move on his part, um, since he knows his guys. Um, I go for a hidden power ground just to break a sub. At this point, Fluffy Puppy, Fluffy Puppy isn't very useful because um, uh, he actually able to get a second hidden power ground off. I actually to break a sub, and he kills me with my Earth Power because he's faster. So, <coughs> sorry, I have a little cough on. So, uh, yeah, he takes out my Fluffy Puppy. Sadly, um, he. And with another Earth Power. So I look the rest of my guys. He's not Scarfed, he's Leftovers, definitely. And so I want to try out this new guy. I, I actually got Savved. Uh, another person Savved this for me. So, um, my Gengar. Uh, he actually, um, his move says T-Bolt, Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, and Hidden Power Ground. But I hit a Rotom, like, what? Like, that was the exact in my face. I'm like, holy crap. And I'm like, okay, maybe HP Ground hits Levitate stuff, maybe? Um, I don't know. But I actually go for the um, smear goal again just to take the shadow ball. And I just think to myself, you know what? I'm going to go for the sub. Because if he's scarfed, that's cool. I get a sub up. If not, uh, I'll take a hydro pump or something like that. And my guy would die anyway. So he, he, he I take the uh, thunder as I transform. Actually, no, Matt, I T-wave this guy. Just, just so I can be faster and I can take the resistant move. <coughs> so... I actually transform into him as he goes for the thunder again, um, just just in case I switch or something. Um, and I look at this guy's moves at Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, Thunder, and Shadow Ball, which is pretty. This is really really cool. Um, I actually outspeed him obviously because of Parahax, and I take do the Shadow Ball on him. So I have a full, I have almost a full HP Rotom um, with Rain Dance up, so my Thunder will hit automatically. He goes for the Aqua Jet, and I'm like, oh. That's a lot of damage. It's probably banded. But I get I live with about 54 health and I thunder and take out his um a zoom roll in one one big blast of energy. So this mirror is pwning right now. I, I'm actually I'm actually really happy for this Rotom because I was actually uh, if he has a faster lead I'm pretty much screwed, but <coughs> I wanted to get the rain dance off. Just so 
I don't get hurt every turn, so my leftovers actually do something. He lives and goes Ice Fang, but because Rodom's so bulky, I'm actually able to live. Um, I go for the Hydro Pump, but of course I miss, and I get the Ice Fang. I guess that's karma for the T-Wave para hacks in the beginning. So at this point, I'm like, okay, um, I'm just going to go for the Gengar, and I go for um, Energy Ball, and it hits the Cacturn. Of course it's resisted, so it's not going to do crap. And I know I couldn't, I can't take a Sucker Punch, so um, I actually switch into my Guess Who. It's my Mints, my Mix Mints, and he actually does a smart move, goes for the Cotton Spore, which decreases my speed, but it doesn't matter all that much because he's para-hacked and I'm faster anyways. So, he goes for the Sucker Punch. <coughs> I did a Draco Meteor just in case he switched. Um, I didn't want to, like, do a Fire Blast in... Uh, just in case he switched in Heatran or hit Pout on, it would hit anything that he comes into. And he goes back into his Kapow, and I switch into my Tagoro, my famous Tagoro. And um, I just go for a Will O Wisp just to decrease his attack to make it a completely pointless Pokemon. But he predicts that like a pro and goes into his Heatran. I'm like, oh boy. Heatran. I, I go for an Earthquake. Um, I can take a Fire Blast, not very well, mind you, but I can take a Fire Blast. Um, so he does go for the Fire Blast, and because of the, the Fire Boost and the Stab, he I live with 15 health. Holy crap. Wow. But I go for the Earthquake, and it doesn't kill. Oh, Tagoro, you're a beast, but not beastly enough. Ah, oh, my Tagoro goes down. So, um, I go into my Gengar again. I'm like, you know what? I have HP ground. If, whatever. Uh, but I go over to HP, but apparently the person who saved me this didn't save it correctly. Um, he didn't touch the HP, which, which the standard HP for every Pokemon is HP Dark. So I guess I did HP Dark on Rotom. That, that would make sense if that's why I hit it. And he has HP Dark and... Heatran obviously resisted like a beast. So I go to my go to my Gary 18. My um, this is actually a new Gary that new Gary for the Gary family. Um, it's the mix Infernape, not banned and not for Sash or anything. So I get the Grass Knot off and <coughs> sorry. Hey, but the switch go for the Ice Ice thing. It doesn't kill. Holy crap. That's just how freaking bulky his Paladons are. He's pretty good switched into my Mints, which would have clinched the game for him. But he did the smart move, went for it, and I just two hit KO with Grass Knot. So that was a really fun game, Fizzy. I really hope I battle you again. You're I just love your sets. It's just it's just really fun. And um rate, comment, and subscribe guys. Um Yeah. Stay classy.